So in this question, you've got two point charges. I just called them Q1 and Q2 over here and over here, separated by some distance d. And uh, when there's just nothing but free space between them, uh, they have a force of 2.6 nanonewtons on each other. But when that space between them gets replaced instead by some kind of homogeneous dielectric material, which means it's just the same dielectric material throughout this distance d, um, it's got a force instead of 1.5 nanonewtons. Um, and it's asking you what is the dielectric constant, of which is epsilon r. What is the dielectric constant of this dielectric that gets put between them for the second case? So let's recall uh, the formula for force due to two-point charges, which is going to look like this where AR is the direction of the distance between them. Um, if we now look at our two cases, we can compare and contrast them. So in the first case, uh, when, there's, uh, when there's free space between them, we'll say 2.6 times 10 to the negative 9 newtons equals Q1, Q2. We don't know their magnitudes, but that won't matter in a bit. You'll see over 4 pi, and for this I'm going to put just epsilon for now, which we will replace a little later. And uh, this part, this distance between them squared will just be d squared in the direction of d, let's call that. And then for case 2, it's going to look pretty similar. Some different values really. Still q1, still q2 or 4 pi. And now we have epsilon times d squared in the d direction. So now the important thing here is in the free space version here, in the free space case, epsilon is going to be equal to epsilon naught only. Okay. You can also think of it as like the er here is equal to 1. You can say like this is equal to 1. That's fine too. But here um, we're going to have epsilon is equal to epsilon naught times er, which is something that's not 1 because we're talking about a dielectric for case 2. So once you've got that down, you can try dividing these two. Divide this whole equation by this whole equation. Um, you get 2.6 over 1.5 equals, so uh, for this side, for the top side, I mean, sorry, for the left-hand equation for case 1 here, uh, when you divide uh, the right-hand side of these equations, q1, q2 will cancel, and so will 4 pi, d squared, and ad, and you'll be left with these different epsilons. So you're going to get um you're going to get 1 over epsilon naught coming from here cuz here we said epsilon is epsilon naught and that's all going to be over that's all going to be over 1 over epsilon naught epsilon r from here And when you clean that up a bit, you're going to get 2.6 over 1.5 is equal to just epsilon naught times epsilon r over epsilon naught. And then these two will very neatly cancel, and then you'll have your answer for epsilon r, just like that.